items sold with a profit of over $300? Let's talk about it. Hello, my name is Margaret and welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. In today's video, we're going to be talking about what sold last week and the profit I made. One of those items was $100. And I'm going to tell you my strategy, how I priced it, how I ended up getting the price that I did, and how I actually wanted more for it. But I'm happy with what I got. If you are new here, welcome. I am a homeschooling reselling mom that thrifts for a living. It's part of what I do to make money. And I would love to have you subscribe so we can talk about how you can also thrift and garage sale and resell to help support yourself. So go down there and hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it so that you're notified when I put out new videos about thrifting, reselling, or other ways to make money. I want to hear from you. What's one of the things that sold this week that was a really good sale for you? Yeah. Let's talk goals. Whether you're reselling or wanting to do this for fun, for extra money, or it's something that you're wanting to build up to be able to help support yourself, it's important to have goals. And reselling on eBay and Etsy is one piece of that puzzle for myself as far as budgeting for my family. Now, I have a goal of making $800 a month on eBay and Etsy because it's one piece of what I do. So I try to break that down into a $200 goal per week. Last week I didn't make my goal. It was about 100 and, I don't know, $170, something like that. The week before I did way better. So it helps to even it out all at the end. It's easy to get down on yourself when you're low, but then when you have a really good week, you know, a lot of times we just kind of like, okay, yay, it's good. but. In the, in the grand scheme of things, the big picture is that I make that end goal at the end of the month. So this week I went over, not went over, I you know exceeded my goal and made over $300 selling about 12 items. So we're gonna talk about that now. The first item we're gonna talk about is this Cinnabar box. Now this is a faux Cinnabar. I did a video talking about how to tell when something is real Cinnabar because it can command a much higher price. But this item I picked up for a dollar at, I believe it was at a garage sale. And it's just this red Cinnabar box. It's got a lacquer inside um, finish and it sold for $28. So let's take a peek at my title, carved red Cinnabar box. So as you can see in my condition, I wrote that it is most likely faux Cinnabar because I'm not an expert. I have a feeling when I know real Cinnabar, but this one I was pretty sure was fake Cinnabar, but I wanted to put that in there just in case to cover myself. So if someone got it and was like, this is not real Cinnabar, uh, they would know that, okay, she's, she shared that it was most likely fake Cinnabar. Faux, fancy faux. The next item that sold is this Mimi mug. And this is an item that I really honestly thought was going to sit for a little while, but it sold for $14. This is a mug that I got at the Goodwill Outlet Bins. It was 10 cents. So that's a really good profit on that. Uh, even though it was, four, I mean, 14 isn't a huge amount, but when you can pick it up for a really low start point, then that $14 looks a lot better. Oh, and I didn't mention this at the beginning. These are my gross sales, so I haven't taken out the fees or anything. So I kind of can estimate that after shipping, well, buyer pays shipping, it's not free shipping. After sh the fees and all of that good stuff, it's probably about a $10 or $11 profit net. So next up, this little wire hair terrier porcelain figurine sold. And this is one that I had priced, mm, I think I had it up around $37. But the buyer ended up messaging me because I did have best offer on it. She wanted to pay lower than what I had set as my lowest point as far as best offer goes. But we were able to negotiate uh, to do $19 and I ended up paying shipping on this one as part of the deal to seal the deal and get this little fella sold and sent to his forever home. So the buyer paid $19. It was probably about $3 or so to ship it. So after fees and shipping and everything like that, probably looking at a $10 to $12 profit on this little guy. He was just like a little, a little figurine. It was really cute. So this wooden Matryoshka, and I'm sure I'm saying that wrong, basically nesting doll train, I didn't want to sell. <laughs> I'm gonna be really honest with you. So if it comes back, I'll cry that I lost the money. 
not cry, cry, but I'll be upset. Like, oh, I really could use the money. But I love this. I do have a nesting doll collection. <laughs> and I was like, this will look perfect with my other nesting dolls. I will never probably see another one like this because when I researched it, I couldn't find this at all. So it's this wooden train, has these little nesting dolls. And if you follow me on Instagram, I made a little like animated video with the little nesting dolls. It's pretty cute. Um, so here it is. They all come off. There's the conductor. It's really sweet. And I listed this for $475, like something crazy. Because I was like, you know what? If somebody wants it and loves it as bad as I do, then they'll be willing to pay this super crazy high $400 price. So I got an offer of $100 for it. I paid $4 for it at a Goodwill, not too far, pretty new Goodwill. So when that $100 offer came in, I had to sit on it for a little while because I had just kind of wrestle with myself about like, do I really, how bad do I want this thing? And how bad do I want to make my goal this month? I probably would have, yeah, I would have made my goal the $200, but I'm in the business to resell and not hoard. So I decided it's going to have to go. So I took the $100 offer and sent it on its way. So the buyer paid shipping. It was 100 bucks, And so my profit, oh gosh, because I need to take a bigger bite with that $100. Let's see. I mean, probably at least $80 profit on that. $75, $80, bucks, maybe more. So it was worth it for sure. So the next three items were all bought by the same person. This brooch was one that I believe I got in a jewelry jar. Let's go see if I have my note. I've had it up for a while. And the reason, I don't normally like to have my fingers in my photos, but I didn't feel like the, I didn't feel like it was really capturing it laying down. It really needed to have some light shining through it. So I went ahead and, and had my fingers in it. No, nope, I've had it up for so long that it doesn't have an inventory note. But I think it was probably in a lot that I got. I can't quite remember. And it did have a natural stone in it. I was not 100% sure. I just put agate because there's a million kinds of agate. So I was, took a stab in the dark. I was pretty sure it was agate. And this sold for $17. And then this little piece, I my grandmother gave it to me a long time ago. And I, and I just had it like in the back of my jewelry box. So I thought, you know, I'm going to go ahead and sell it. It's been up for a really long time. But it sold for $15. A little enamel and white sapphire. I, they're probably lab created um, pendant. And then this brooch went to the same buyer. This one I got for $0.99. Cents and the buyer paid $15 for this. So they bought all three of those, so they'll be all shipped out together. They actually are, haven't been shipped yet. Their sales just came through this weekend, so it's gonna go out tomorrow. Next, these swizzle sticks sold, and I got these in the bin. So they're little whistle swizzle sticks that weighed next to nothing, and they sold for $17 on Etsy. This frame I also got in the bins. It's a millifiori, which is a little tiny glass mosaic frame and I got it in the bins it was still unbroken which was miraculous so it cost me about 10 cents and it sold for $35 and it was just a little frame like that really small and then this little guy sold too so he's a little elf ornament that I also got in the bins he weighed next to nothing as well and he what was he made of I always forget raffia or rattan that's what I see other people listing this style of ornament and it's over $15. So I, yeah, I got him on a whim because I was like, he's super light. He's little, he's cute, he's Christmassy, he's unusual. Let's just get him and see what happens. I couldn't find another one. So I was like, okay, 15 bucks. Why not? Sold for $15. And then I had two other private sales. This was on like Instagram and Facebook. I have been doing a major overhaul of cleaning out my jewelry stash because I have way more. You guys know how many thread up boxes, jewelry jars, Goodwill boxes, all kinds of stuff that I get. And I've got tons and tons of jewelry. I just now noticed that. Look at that little sun. That's so cool. Well, too bad. It's already in a bag. Probably already shipped off. So I've sold two of these so far. I'm just bagging stuff up. I'm just kind of going through if it's, if it's tangled or if it's not like, if it just doesn't jump out at me right away, it's just going like in the bag, in the bag, in the bag. So I've got a bunch of bags. I'm still making more. 
because I have to make room for a new inventory, right? Blow out, blow out. <laughs> anyway, so I've got to make room for new inventory because I just got like three more thread up boxes and two more Goodwill blue box to unbox. <laughs> I don't know where to put them. So um, I think the opening and the treasure. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's too late. It's too late. It's already sealed in the bag, Margaret. Anyway, these are going out. I'm selling them for $30 shipped. So plug for that if you're interested. It's Some of it's repair. Some of it's resellable for sure. Some of it's, I mean, there's just all kinds of stuff. It's a total mixed bag, gallon size bag, 30 bucks shipped within the U.S. Because I'll just send it in a bubble mailer and have it on its way. So those, I'm thinking it's about a $20 profit or so after shipping and everything. So that was a really good extra sale, bonus sales. So that was two of those sold so far, but I definitely have more if you're interested. So again, tell me what was your best sale this past week. I want to hear from you. What did you sell that made you a good profit? And follow me over on Facebook and Instagram because I share all kinds of other stuff over there. And I will see you on the next one. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. Bye.